Hello, my name is Dr. Hart Pinto and welcome to this JHP Medical presentation on medical statistics. This is lecture two on mean, median and mode. The mean, also sometimes known as the arithmetic mean or the average value, is usually used appropriately with data which is normally distributed, i.e. the data is spread equally on each side of the midpoint. This gives a classical bell-shaped curve. The arithmetic mean is not appropriate for use with skewed data. We calculate the mean by adding the sum of all the values and divide it by the total number of observations. The next graph shows a typical normally distributed bell-shaped curve. It is in these situations that the arithmetic mean is appropriate for use. You can see that the data is equally distributed on either side of the midpoint of the curve. Let's now consider an example. We want to measure the weight of seven people in our clinic and we observe the following values in kilograms. 70, 71, 74, 75, 79 and two patients with a weight of 85. In order to calculate the average weight of the patients, we must use the following equation. The mean is equal to the sum of all the values divided by the total number of values. Therefore, we add 70 to 71 to 74 etc and divide it by the total number of values which is 7 in this case. This is equal to 539 divided by 7 which gives us a mean value of 77. When considering a non-normally distributed data, i.e. when the data is skewed from one side to the other, we use the median value to represent the average. The median is the value at which there are half the number of values above and half the number of values below. It is literally the middle value. The next slide shows a characteristically skewed, non-normally distributed graph. It is in these situations that the median value is appropriate for use. If we now consider the same example as before, where we want to measure the median value of the weight of the patient in our clinic. We find that the middle value is 75 kilograms with three values on either side. If the situation arises that you have an even number of values you would take the two middle values add them together and divide them by two and that will give you the median value. Mode on the other hand is much less frequently used. It's important when we want to consider which values are most frequently occurring in a data set. It literally means the most commonly occurring value. Again, if we consider the same example for the same seven patients, we find that there are two patients who both weigh 85 kilograms. This therefore is the most commonly occurring value in this data set. Therefore, we determine that the mode is 85 kilos. In a slightly more unusual situation, we may find that there are two sets of commonly reoccurring values within our data set. We may therefore determine that our data is bimodally distributed. For example, when we consider the graph below, we can see that there are two clearly defined peaks. One for age 30 to 40 and the second at ages 70 to 80. This may be the case for a condition that presents at two different age groups. Okay, in summary, the mean is the average value. It can be calculated by the total sum of the values divided by the number of the values. And we should only use this for normally distributed data. Mean, on the other hand, is the middle value and can be used more appropriately for skewed data sets. Mode, finally, is the most commonly occurring value within our data set. I hope this lecture has been useful in the revision for your upcoming exams and as always please feel free to leave your comments or questions below.